Did you know that there's been a war going on for thousands of years right under our nose? It involves one of the deadliest insects in the world, the murder hornet and the humble honeybee. This rivalry has been happening all around the world. But which creature is typically the winner in this battle? On this episode, we're going to find out. Tonight, it's murder hornets versus bees. The murder hornet is coming into this fight as one of the biggest insects ever at 50 millimeters long. The venom from its stinger can kill up to 10 mice. And a colony of murder hornets? Well, that could take down a human. Its combatant isn't just any regular bee. In this fight, we'll have the Japanese honeybee. Its biggest asset in battle is its strength in numbers and its sense of smell. A single bee has 170 odorant receptors, allowing it to communicate and identify any potential attackers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this fight won't take a matter of minutes to complete, but instead will take place over several weeks. That's because our murder hornets are taking on an entire bee colony. A single murder hornet is starting this fight by approaching the bee's nest. It smells honey and needs a ton of food to survive. It's hoping to take out a bee who's wandering outside of the hive and it looks like it successfully does. The murder hornet snatches and takes out the bee with its mandibles. It's going to bring its corpse back to the nest to eat. And now that the murder hornet knows there's a colony nearby, it's going to tell the other worker hornets where they should hunt. The murder hornets are now in the attack pattern that's known as the slaughter phase. Here, they'll bring several murder hornets to focus on a single hive that has been marked with a chemical secreted from one of the workers. Now, usually when this happens, the murder hornets would come to the nest and wipe it completely clean. They would be in kill mode, stalking the nest and taking out the honeybees one by one. Just a few dozen murder hornets can take out nearly 50,000 of them. But since we're dealing with the Japanese honeybee, this fight will play out very differently. Honeybees have evolved alongside the murder hornet and because of that, they've gotten pretty good at defending themselves. As the murder hornets approach the nest, expecting to have an easy feast, something strange is happening. There are no longer any bees outside of the nest. The bees smell danger and they've decided to retreat. The murder hornets are hesitant at first, but one approaches the nest and looks to be going inside. The bees aren't attacking at all, in fact, they're hardly moving. The murder hornet is seeing this as a good thing and attacks one of the honeybees, but that was the exact opportunity the bees were looking for. Now that the murder hornet is in their territory, hundreds of bees swarm their opponent. They're creating what's known as a thermal ball. Instead of attacking with their stingers, they're working as a team to create heat. And it turns out that's the murder hornet's greatest weakness. The bee's thermal ball is 47 degrees. The murder hornet is unable to withstand the heat. But this wasn't without sacrifice as nearly 25% of the bees in the colony also die. But it was well worth it as the bees have now killed all the murder hornets and will live to see another day. And your winner is the honeybee! Who would you like to see fight next? Maybe a Megalodon versus a Mosasaur? We'll see who wins on the next round of Versus. <laughs>